Hey everyone, it's Arcondis. Thank you for tuning in to another video. And today is going to be a very fun one because League 4 for Ascension has just started today. As you can see, there's so many people here and it is super refreshing. I'm so glad to be making content for Ascension again. I know I came out with the video a few weeks ago. I said I was going to try to make a video a week. But, you know, as they say, better late than never. But with the new leak with Ascension, there's going to be a lot of fun content to be had. But before we do get started, I just want to say thank you all so much for tuning in. And we do have some big plans for this league, and it's going to be super fun. But, of course, if, you, if you've if you been watching me for a while and watching my Ascension content, I emphasize community and giving back to y'all. So because of that, I'm going to be giving away a Challenger Supporters Pack. All you have to do is comment down in the comment section below what your plans are for this league. And, of course, put your name. This is going to be for League 4, so your League 4 character. And then... Around the weekend, I'm going to choose randomly in the comments below, and I'm going to go ahead and send that to you. I'll go ahead and make a video of that as well, so you know I'm not scamming. So, <laughs> other than that, guys, I really do appreciate you all tuning in. Make sure to like and comment down below for that chance to win the Challenger Supporter Pack, and let's have some fun. All right, so we're going to play the character that started it all, and if a lot of you have been watching me for a while, you know who Carrot Face is, and I already know what we're going to do. We're going to make this a little bit fun. I've been really interested in the just the uh, the trials and challenges that are introduced with this new league, and I've chosen to do the Iron Man Lonely Survivor. So, a literal test of survival. You'll gain a hunger and a thirst bar, and if either reach a hundred stacks, you'll die. Overcome exhaustion, dehydration, and starvation to reach level cap and overcome this trial. So. Not only are we going to be Iron Man, so we're going to be completely alone. We can't group, can't do nothing. We'll get the Iron Man Lonely Survivor buff. And then our restrictions. No arena queue, no guild bank, no mail, no trading, no vendor purchasing food or drink. I think that's going to be insane. No boosting items, bank, auction house, and yada yada. No grouping, challenge, exclusive trading. So I only can trade with other... You're going to trade with players. Okay, so participate in the same challenge, but I think I'm just going to do this completely solo. We'll see how it works out. Uh, but there are some other cool challenges that I do want to do. Um, as you see, there's there's a bunch of them. I think I might do... Greedy Goblin sounds interesting, but we'll do that another time. Again, this is gonna be this league is gonna be so much fun, not only for content, but like just replayability and to really push your limits as not only a gamer, and not only a WoW player, but a gamer. Um, but this is the challenge that we are going to do. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this bad boy started. And our rewards, our rewards are going to be what is this? Lonely Bonfire. So, yay, we get a little bonfire for <laughs> surviving, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we started it. Where is our thirst? I don't see a thirst or... Okay, so build draft. So this is one of the new things. I think we're going to do build draft. I never was good at build, uh, making my own build. I always went to the, to the community to do it. So we'll go ahead and do build draft and see what it gets us. Okay, shit. I see we do already have food and water draining. So <laughs> let's keep it moving while we look at this. And we get a bunch of rewards at the end here. Build master's trophy. Sweet. Um, I think we're going to go damage. I think that's the best route to take here. Divine Sentinel. I'm already sold because I, you know I'm a paladin enjoyer. Decline that. Oh, dude, this looks pretty cool. Titanic Mutilate and Blood and Guts. So we've we've messed with all these legendary uh, random enchants, but there's just five percent more damage. Frostbolt and Sinister Strike. I think I'm gonna do the paladin because I'm a, I'm a paladin boy at heart. Your damage abilities have a chance to exercise your target. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the Divine Sentinel. There can be six, up to 16 builds, but I guess you're only given three at the beginning. By the way, this UI is awesome. I haven't played Ascension in like a year or two, and they're coming up with a bunch of cool stuff that I've never seen before. We'll go ahead and do Divine Sentinel. May not be the best, but I'm a Paladin boy. 
And we get some extra damage from Seal of the Righteous. Alright, so, okay, shit. Our hunger and health are ticking down already. We don't start off with any food and water, but fills empty water pouch with water. Okay, that's cool. So we do need to find a water source. I don't think there's any water source around here. I'm kind of panicking already, dude. Holy shit. We're already at 11 thirst, and we haven't even killed anything. Alright, I think we, I think we gotta go. Um, let me kill stuff, and I think, I think they have a chance to drop food. I hope so, because we cannot buy any food or water from vendors, so we need to, we need to move fast here. I think at the very, very early stages, this is going to be kind of crazy, and I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to pick up cooking for sure. Right. Okay, give me pants, which is nice. And again, thank you all for tuning in, man. I really do appreciate it. This league's going to be super fun with all the new challenges. And I saw we can create our own challenge as well. So I'm going to think of a bunch of stuff that we can we can possibly do to make this super fun. Right, let's see if we can... Oh, okay. We got Judgment of Wisdom. Sweet. We got a sword as well. Um, please tell me these things drop food and water. Okay, good. Okay, we got a mushroom cap. <laughs> so this has to... I wonder if once it hit, uh, hits 100, we instantly die? Or... Okay, we got water. Okay, so confirmed. We can get food and water from these things. Thank goodness. I think I'm going to be killing these for a little bit. Alright. So what I'm going to do is... I kind of don't want to get above 50. I think once we start getting above 50, I'm going to panic even more. See if we can kill a few more things to get some food and water. Got a sword. Okay. Let's see. So, 18 seconds. So, they're both 18 seconds. So, we're at 14 and 23. Okay. It's going down super fast. Oh, dude. We're good. So, food's cleared. And drink is cleared. But it goes, it just goes right back again. Okay, so we constantly have to pay attention to it. Which, I mean, is a part of the challenge. And I'm so glad... Oh, we got another water. Sweet. I'm so glad they're coming out with cool stuff like this. This is, um... This is definitely going to not only keep you on your toes throughout the gameplay. But... Add that little bit of excitement to it. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep killing stuff for food and water. Because, again, I'm going to keep re-emphasizing this. We cannot buy food and water from vendors. I don't know if that's just from innkeepers or just across the board. Oh, yeah. Let's continue to kill these zombies, get some food and water, and survive. Hey, I wonder if, actually, this cannibalize decrease my hunger meter? No. Okay, that... Ah, man. I would be cool, but I guess I would give Undead a little bit of a unfair advantage. And maybe they didn't even think of that. So we cannot rely on cannibalism in order to save ourselves, which, I mean, it would have been cool if it if it did, but I'm not too mad at it, it doesn't. Okay, so we're able to pick up a decent amount of food and some water. The water isn't going to be too bad because we do have the chalice that we're going to be able to utilize. And as long as we pick up cooking, we'll be able to turn like the stringy wolf meat into things that we can eat. So... Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad, but one thing I know that I'm, I'm going to die to... If I do die, it's going to be because I accidentally AFK and I forgot that I'm doing a challenge. So every time I actually do have to step away, I'm probably going to to log out. Okay, oh, we got Consecration. Good, an AoE. And I, for the first character, I typically don't like to use like my vanity stuff. But I think we're, we're going to use the, the book. And I could use like one of my chests for bag space because I always get screamed at for my bag space. But I, I think we'll let it go for now. I'll put on a two-hander. Yeah, I kind of don't want to get above 80. I think that's my panic. My panic level is like around 80. So as long as we don't get near that and we have a good source of food and water, we'll be good. But I know once we move here, I know, again, there's a lake right here that we can utilize to get some more water. Or we can, like, utilize this as well. 
but I don't think we're gonna have we're not gonna be able to use this more than once like once we fill it up we use it and then it's empty it's not like it has like three charges so I'm doing this spider quest over here and I'm slowly realizing it may not be worth because we level first of all we level super fast anyway right so it may not be worth doing these quests that that aren't humanoid you know like I think humanoids mostly have a chance to drop food and water whereas creatures don't or like undead I mean these undead I don't know if they added specifically at the beginning that they drop but it seems like undead and like humanoid have a chance to drop food and water so I think it'd be wise just to stick to killing those type of mobs because I just I mean I don't want to say wasted time but I, I did that quest and I still have the same amount of food and water which is not good so we'll probably stick to mostly doing humanoid quests if we can help it the good thing about this area there's there are humanoids like I, th I believe the gnolls are humanoids and there's like scarlet people here that we could probably get food and water from so I don't know if going to the barrens would be the best for this type of challenge because it's mostly um, creatures and stuff like that but we'll see I think I'll make the decision as we creep closer to finishing this area all right, level ten, oh, level eleven actually got a new talent, and so one of the new things about this league as well, um, of course, watch the trailer if you haven't yet. It explains it all better than pro I probably can. But whatever build you're going in this build finder, I think it's specifically for this uh, this build creator. You randomly get the or not randomly, but you get the random enchants on your gear automatically. Like right now, since we hit level eleven. This epic mystic enchant faithful flex is already on our gear. Typically, we can't even get random enchants on gray gear, but it just gives it to us since we are going this build route or this specific builder. So casting damage for physical um, increases holy damage. So pretty cool stuff. And I've just been I'm <laughs> I'm a better be safe than sorry kind of guy. So I've just been sitting here in this area. Just farming these Scarlet Converts for extra water and food. Because the last thing that I want to happen is... I run out. I'm, I'm somewhere far. I run out. I mean, obviously, I can hearth. But, again, you cannot buy... Actually, holy shit. See, I'm not even paying attention. I'm at 85 water. I swear, I'm going to die just randomly because I forget to look at my food and water. Um... But you cannot buy food and water from merchants. So even if you, like, hearth out of an area... Um, it's not going to really help because you can't buy anything. So I'm taking the safe route. I'm just farming up a good amount. I think I'm going to get to at least 20 water and maybe 20 food. And then I think I'm going to, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable, but I don't know how far we're going to get in this video. I'm kind of just going, going at my own pace here. So, and I, I like extending these videos to just more than one. It uh, it helps me just as a content creator specifically. I don't I don't want to rush things and I want to have fun and take my time with stuff. So hopefully you guys don't mind if like we don't hit cap during one video, um, because I do I do enjoy these these um, these videos and these challenges that are coming and I don't want to rush them at all. So hopefully you guys understand that. The one thing that's making this challenge kind of kind of a little bit more difficult is the amount of people that are here. Like, I'm not able to finish the quest as fast. And being slow is is definitely not, not going to help us here because, I mean, as you see, we're at 62, water 84. Okay, I need to eat real quick. And I haven't killed enough stuff in order to get food. I mean, gladly we found, like, a food crate that gave us mushrooms. And we were able to fill the water chalice over here by this lake, which I might go back to here soon. Because look how fast the... The thirst goes down when I drink. Like that, I was at what at sixty something, and that completely obliterates it. So it's definitely a good idea to fill this flask as much as it. Oh, okay, I thought it disappeared. I was about to, <laughs> I was about to panic. I guess right here. So that completely wiped our, our thirst, which is good. So food is going to be the big thing here. And we're going to have to pick up cooking for sure when we uh, reach a main city. But we also need our mount. And I saw that the training for the mount is like 
three gold and a, and a few silver. So we're definitely going to have to pick up that soon. The good thing is I have a bunch of vanity mounts that I <laughs> that I can just summon. I don't think we're going to have to pay any money in order to get a mount. So we're going to save some money with that. But yeah, having all these people here at the very start is proving to be a little bit difficult. The good thing about it though is I can still get credit. Like, let's say I needed to kill like one more of those grave robbers and someone else tagged it. I can still get credit for that kill. It's just I won't get the loot. And that's the big thing about this... Um, this challenge is getting that loot to have a chance to get that food and water and I believe I've been getting food and water off of these guys But I haven't been really paying attention Let's see, just been getting the ickers. I do need to eat here soon Yeah, I need to start finding more food I might just visit the humanoids up in the scarlet area or like either here or here and just kill a bunch of them so I can get food Because I'm I'm reaching that panic that panic level right now of 80 but I'm safe because I do have food here let's eat this up and we'll some spring water as well but yeah we're only level 12 so far I think I don't know what level I'm gonna try to get before we call this session for today but yeah again I'm having so much fun and over here at maggot's eye there's like there's no such thing as a line here in Ascension. There's no respect. There's like literally a crowd of people around just waiting to tag it. So I don't think we're going to be able to get Maggot Eye, and it's not going to be it's not going to be worth for me to stand there and wait for it um, because we unfortunately have the hunger and thirst. Oh no, guys! I have been struggling to say the least to find food, and this could be it. I'm here at the Scarlet area. Oh God, I got a mushroom. Oh, this is so stressful. I'm at 90. Please don't hit me, Dark Hound. I am at 90 hunger. Water is fine. I have some spring water and some some of the chalice, but I am struggling to find food, and I'm literally going to die if the RNG gods aren't on my side. There are a lot of people here, so they are farming these scarlets, so I need to I need to pick it up. But we did get our mount, thankfully. We saved up the, it was three gold and 80 silver for the, the mount. I gotta get this here. But we are on the brink right now. And we need to get some good RNG here in order to not die. Please, mushrooms. Yes, I got another mushroom. Oh, dude, they gave me more than one mushroom. He gave me three. I am terrified right now. So the, the last few levels, I've literally grinded a level, level or two right here to get enough food to travel to Brill to get my mount and that travel time really hurts but now if we survive this the mount is really going to help um, I'm only level 15 so this I mean I feel like we're leveling at a normal pace we still have a bunch of other people here so I'm fine with how fast we're leveling it's just <laughs> this is turning from fun into stressful very fast but I'm, I'm totally down I'm gonna go behind here and kill some of these zealots. So we're safe at the moment because we do have we do have the chalice and we have some mushrooms here. Thank goodness that guy gave us three mushrooms, or I think we we'd be in super panic mode. But we're still in slightly slightly less panic mode. Um, we were able to pick up some greens, but. I just sold them all for the for the mount, but we'll start equipping stuff here, so we at least get the stats. I did see, I did try to drink a potion to see if that increased or decreased my thirst level. That didn't work, unfortunately. So potions aren't going to help. It kind of makes sense, but at the same time, you know, cannibalize and drinking potions would definitely help this challenge because we are running out of resources here and we are scrambling to just get any we're scrambling to get mushrooms which I don't think I'd ever find myself saying that here in World of Warcraft we are down to our last mushroom and we haven't been able to find one yet so after these next two mobs I'm going to start eating this last mushroom and hope for the best 
Please give us some more mushrooms. Cheese or something. Okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and drink our chalice. So our chalice is going to pretty much... Uh, get rid of all of our thirst. Which is cool. But we don't have anything like that for food. I wonder if cooking, like cooked food, helps us... Um... You know, decrease that even faster how how water does or that chalice does but we haven't really gotten the chance to really be free because we've just been straight up farming this whole time okay again we're in super panic mode we need just some more mushrooms here some cheese or something we do know it drops obviously so we just dude we're getting close again Please. Mushroom. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Guys, this is stressful as fuck, to be honest. A raven. Oh, thank goodness we got a raven claw. I wish, bro, I wish I could, like, eat cloth. Like, I'm desperate. Let me eat cloth or something. Oh, yeah, it's getting close here, boys. Just need one mushroom. Jeez. Oh man, it doesn't help that other people are farming this area. Fuck. Alright, we're down to our last few mobs. I was severely underprepared for this. Oh man. Gotta make sure we have backspace, please! Mushroom something, please! A mushroom! <laughs> No. Oh, I think we're dead here, boys. Please don't tag that zealot. Give me mushroom, give me mushroom, give me mushroom. No, that's it. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, I'm going to die. If I do die, it's going to be because I accidentally AFK and I forgot. Wow. That challenge was ab absolutely stressful. So unfortunately, we didn't make the challenge. I don't know, we made it to level 15, but as you see, guys, that that's what I was literally doing the whole time. Um, so unfortunately, we did not make it this time, but we do know how to prepare ourselves. So I think I'm gonna try this again. Uh, but in order to prepare myself, I'm. I probably would have to farm the humanoids a lot more. Um, unless there's a there's a different strategy that you guys already know. But man, as you as you guys saw, I was <laughs> literally killing and unfortunately cannibalize does not help with food. So I, I tried that already. I mean I wish it did, but I, I think that would give Undead too much of an advantage. But but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what else we could have done. I think I, I think wasting less time uh, questing and just more of just raw farming, unfortunately, is probably what we'll have to do. And l until we farm up a, a an insane amount of food and water, like I, I severely underestimated how much food and water we actually needed. Um, but I think having 20 on you at all times is probably going to be the the way to go. But our first challenge we failed, but I, I will be trying again. But we made it to level 15. I don't know if we're going to continue leveling this character. We'll probably restart him and try to do it again. But again, guys, thank you so much for your support. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And again, comment down below your character name and what you're going to be doing this league for, for the chance to win that giveaway. So again, I really appreciate everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully we can make it. <laughs> Peace.